Imagine getting paid just for sharing your thoughts on products and services you use every day. With Survey Junkie, it's that simple. Click on the link in the video description to discover how you can start earning today by taking surveys. Aussie tradespeople have become the new cash cow for cocaine dealers who used to target highly paid white-collar professions, according to new research. The number of plumbers, carpenters, and electricians using the illicit substance has doubled, according to data released by Flinders University. Male trotties aged 18 to 24 have become the largest market for cocaine, with one in eight having admitted to using the drug that costs around $300 a gram. Flinders University researchers Alice McIntyre and Roche and Susan Kim found that the number of workers employed as trotties who were using cocaine has doubled to almost one in ten. The researchers published their academic findings based on the National Drug Strategy Household Survey, NDS Chess, which collects information about illicit drug use as well as alcohol and tobacco consumption among Australians. The research also found that the number of people consuming cocaine in Australia is now four times as high as the number of people who used the drug in 2004. Anecdotally, one builder said they have been forced to take drastic measures to curb the use of cocaine after his staff kept testing positive to the drug. We've had a lot of people on coke. I have had to let people go because I'm doing random drug tests and they are failing them because of cocaine, the builder told News Corp. It used to be marijuana because that stays in your system longer, but now it's coke, it's 100% more prevalent. Another person employed in the construction sector said people are talking about the substance on work sites and more trot eyes are purchasing the drug because they can now afford the expensive item thanks to larger pay packets. CFMEU National Secretary Zach Smith, one of the senior leaders of the Peak Construction Union in Australia, said the health and safety of workers in the industry will always be the main priority. Mr. Smith told the newspaper that despite the shocking findings by the research, the construction sector should not be singled out as an industry that is susceptible to cocaine consumption. Demonizing workers in one of Australia's most dangerous industries is completely unfair given cocaine use is obviously not isolated to any industry, Mr. Smith said. The latest NDSHS survey found that almost one in five Aussies had used an illicit drug between 2022 to 2023. The number of Aussies who used cocaine between 2019 to 2023 increased by 4.5 percent. Workers in the construction industry have been bolstered by new pay deals to boost their weekly earnings. Construction unions in Queensland successfully negotiated a deal with the Queensland Premier Stephen Miles to increase wages for workers in the industry by $10 an hour over the next four years until 2027. The pay rise means qualified trot eyes and carpenters will be paid almost $1,948 a week. The wages of crane operators will increase to $2,394 and a fourth-year adult electrical apprentice will earn $44 an hour.